With YouTube attacking alternative media, please consider supporting the channel via Patreon for just a dollar per month. Link below. This is not something I cover very often. Um, I don't talk a lot about filmmakers or the filmmaking process in terms of what they choose to do. Uh, ultimately, uh, I, I, I do love the filmmaking process. I love to see what directors come up with and how they approach certain things. And there's been no more prolific director, I think, in the modern age than Steven Soderbergh, who's always looking for new ways to tell stories and new ways to film something. And, he, and he's known for this, you know, the guy who's constantly in and out of retirement. But he says here that shooting on an Apple iPhone is a game changer and he wants to use it for all future movies. This is not an uncommon or untalked about thing in, in, in Hollywood. Like when I first moved to Los Angeles in 2010, DSLRs were all the rage, right? Do you have a 5D? Do you have a 7D? You know, and then all of a sudden you got movies that are being made with these Canon 5Ds, like uh, Act of Valor, that movie that was basically like Call of Duty, the live action film, uh, was shot on a wide on a whole bunch of 7Ds or 5Ds that were so cheap that if they broke one, they would just send their intern to the store, buy another one, have them come back out with it, and they're back up and ready to go again. And that kind of filmmaking was very much championed in Los Angeles at the time because of, of the look and of the ease and of the price and the quality you could get. Um, and so Soderbergh going to using iPhones is interesting here. So it says that while other filmmakers have shot on smartphones as something of a gimmick to get attention for their films, Soderbergh said shooting on an iPhone was not done for publicity. Anyone who's going to see this movie uh, who has no idea of the backstory of the production will have no idea this was shot on the phone. That is not part of the conceit. In particular, Soderbergh praised the 4K resolution video capture capabilities on the iPhone. He had previously worked with bulkier, a more expensive red 4K and up cameras. Oh yeah, the 4Ks are, oh, those are nice. I've used a red before and it's intimidating to say the very least to shoot on a red because uh, they're very expensive. And that was, again, that was like the next level up from the DSLRs where, where the, the reds and everyone wanted to get their hands on those things and they're just a lot of money. Um, he says here, I've seen it 40 feet tall, talked about it, the 4k footage captured on the iPhone. It looks like velvet. This is a game changer to me. And I don't have an iPhone, uh, X, right. Or the iPhone seven here, I think is what he's more or less referring to. Cause that's when they upped the dual lenses on the camera, but ultimately people look at their phone. Uh, they buy their phones based on the kind of cameras that they have. I've got the, uh, Samsung, uh, galaxy S eight, uh, mostly because the front facing camera is an eight megapixel. Uh, whereas the iPhone six is only a five megapixel and I do lots of live streams with it and I'll record video with the, with the back facing camera. And I like the way that it looks. Um, but that being said, yeah, I really want to, I'd love to upgrade to an iPhone, but the functionality of the Samsung is why I stay with it. But uh, if I had the money to buy an iPhone X, I would use it for a lot of video shooting, probably just predominantly that, uh, because of the type of quality you get. Now, it says that uh, it was first revealed last fall that Soderbergh secretly filmed Unsane on an iPhone. The fe feature is scheduled to arrive in theaters this March. Uh, Unsane stars Claire Foy, uh, Joshua Leonard, Jay Farrow, Juno Temple, Amy Mullins, and Amy Irving, uh, with Farrow describing the picture as some similarities to Jordan Peele uh, created smash hit Get Out. The movie was filmed last summer, meaning that the best iPhone it could have shot with was the iPhone 7. Okay, so... Uh, we, so we know that Soderbergh likes to experiment and we know that he's generally very good at crafting these kind of films. However, I'd like to kind of like, uh, use this last bit as a segue into the next story. Uh, but, uh, crank, for example, uh, that was the first movie shot on prosumer cameras, like Canon GL ones or XL ones. Like they shot this, uh, they shot crank one when it came out. I think they shot it in 05 and or early 06 and it came out uh, labor day weekend of 06 and that was the first movie shot on those kind of cameras and at the time i was in film school and we were using gl ones and xl ones uh and so for me that was like a game changer like holy crap this is something that can in fact uh be done uh this is something that can in fact be put out there now what i'm waiting for next is like soderbergh to sit there and say oh the you know gopro session here the hero 5 session that's going to be the the next game changer it's not the this thing is you know kind of crappy to be honest with you if you don't have the right lighting it looks like ass but the iPhone with the two lenses and everything else, it looks like you could probably get a fair amount out of it. And so if he's creating a low budget kind of subversive horror film, very similar to Get Out and shooting it 
in 4K on the iPhone. I think it's going to be uh, fascinating. However, just to kind of, uh, if for any of you out there that are kind of doubting uh, how it may all work out, at least in, in your mind's eye, uh, Spielberg said it best. Uh, a movie is uh, 49% what you see, 51% what you hear. I'm paraphrasing, obviously. But that's true. Provided that the sound design on the movie is good, uh, you will be able to overlook any technical errors or glitches or flaws uh, put out by the limitations of the iPhone 7.